right now we're diving in the crater of Vailalu'u Volcano and we're on a structure in the middle of the crater that has appeared in the last 18 years. This structure wasn't here. It's a cone that's more than a thousand feet tall above the crater floor. Hot spot volcanoes are a plume of hot rock, basically in the interior of the earth, rising up all the way to the oceanic crust that are far from the boundaries of tectonic plates. And as tectonic plates move over this plume, you observe a formation of chains of volcanoes all in a line. And Samoa is an example of this process. The first stage in ocean exploration is to make a map. And for many of the areas of the world that we work, there simply are no high resolution maps. So very often the mapping team will go first to an area, generate high quality, high resolution maps of the seafloor, and from there we pick our ROV dive targets. One of the reasons that we are interested in diving in this place is that we have detected a growth of the central cone, which may be caused by recent eruptions in the last few years. So this is an active volcano and it's a dynamic system and we see continuous changes. When we went over the top of Hialu over the last week and a half and mapped it again, it became very clear that the cones approximately doubled in volume uh, since 2005. During the dive, we were able to move from the older portion of the cone to the two new cones. And it was really clear that the two new cones uh, looked younger. And uh, in terms of just being fresher, they hadn't been exposed to the seawater as long. But they also looked younger because they didn't have as well-developed biological communities. So it's a really interesting natural experiment. There's early colonizers versus some species that come late. And this is a process that we know that is happening in ecosystems on land that is much better understood. But this process of succession and recolonization of areas is poorly understood in deep sea environments after an eruption. I think the most exciting, even though I'm a geologist, the most exciting aspect of all this was to really see, to be witness to how biology takes a foothold on new seafloor, the newest seafloor that's formed. Currently, Pailu's crater is about a half mile deep. So the question is, when is Pailu going to make it to the surface? That's a really tough question. Volcanoes are difficult to predict. If the volcano continues to show its present rate of growth, it could potentially summit on the order of thousands of years. <laughs>